State your name, uh, your preferred pronouns, <laughs> and your sexual orientation. Uh, my name is Mark Morgan. I'm a man, I'm a he, him, and I'm mostly straight. Uh, I'm from Martinsdale, Iowa. I went to high school there. Uh, small school. I wrestled in high school, junior high, and then came to UNI to go to college. Didn't wrestle at UNI. What got you interested in MMA? Um, I've always been a fan of the sport. Uh, all through high school, like me and all my friends liked watching the fights, and everybody thinks they can fight. And I was like always wanted to train, but never actually made the steps to do it. And one day I was just like, I saw the gym online and decided I'd come give it a shot. And I've been in love with it since. Where do you train at? Iowa Martial Arts Center out of Waterloo. What made you uh, decide to train there? So I got to college my freshman year and I started training a little bit. I went to a couple jiu-jitsu classes, a couple kickboxing classes um, at a different gym and it just wasn't the right fit for me. I didn't like it. Plus it was my, you know, my freshman year of college and I wasn't ready to commit the time. Fast forward into my sophomore year I was looking for an MMA gym, an actual MMA gym, not, not just kickboxing and jiu-jitsu. I wanted to do actual MMA. And I found Iowa Martial Arts Center and showed up to a class and it was great. The coaches were awesome and helpful and like, yeah. My coaches are Colin Heideman and Frankie McLaughlin. What are they like? <laughs> They're pretty great. Um, you know, Colin's the head coach, runs the gym. Um, he's got a great mind for the sport. He sees things and it makes in the moment corrections for me really well. I think one of his biggest strengths for coaching is that he cares. I think that's big. He sees you as a person. You're a person and a friend first. You're not just another member in the gym. And I think that that shows in how he coaches and the way he talks to you. And I think everybody that comes here if you stick around longer than the first day, you'll feel that, you'll notice that, and that uh, makes you want to come back. Uh, Frankie is one of my coaches and also my main training partner, so that is a, quite the learning experience. Um, he tells me what to do and then shows me why I shouldn't mess it up. So. What would you say is different about the coaching here versus other places that you've trained at? Um, I think the biggest thing is the ability to have like one-on-one -on -one attention, small group. Uh, in a lot of big gyms, you're, the move of the day is shown or, or you know, techniques demonstrated and you're kind of left to your devices with your, with your training partner to figure it out. Um, here, the Colin's walking around and like standing right next to me watching me do the move. And if I have a question, I can ask him directly. I can ask Frankie directly because usually I'm doing it with him. Um, so it's a lot more one-on-one -on -one attention, and I feel like it helps accelerate growth a lot. What would go. you say your gym's specialty is? I think for the area, our specialty is definitely actual MMA, combining striking with grappling, with wrestling, with jiu-jitsu, combining everything and actually learning MMA as a whole. I think there's a lot of gyms that have kickboxing or Muay Thai, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, or really kind of just jiu-jitsu and striking. A lot of gyms don't even really wrestle. Um, and I think we're really good at combining and focusing on all aspects of the game. So last October you had your first MMA fight. Correct. What was that experience like afterwards versus your thoughts of how you thought it was going to be going into it? Um, I was super excited. And afterwards, it was just as exciting as I thought it was going to be. Um, nothing really was very unexpected about it. Uh, I was actually more calm than I thought I would be once I was in the cage. I felt calm. I felt focused. Um, and that was a big focus I had was staying calm as I got in the cage. Uh, afterwards, it was great, right? Like everybody knows that after the win, it's a celebration. So that was pretty awesome. What did you feel like led to you being that calm 
walking into it? Preparation. Um, I spent a long training camp focused every day. It's all I was thinking about. And, uh, you know, that makes the difference as a preparation. As well as, like, not just physically preparing and being in shape, but, like, preparing my mindset, understanding what I'm going to do, and, you know, really making the fight my fight. What's your main goal for the sport of MMA? <laughs> Keep winning. Um, you know, I don't have as cool of an answer as Frankie had to this. I'm still so young in the sport. I've only been training for like 13 months, and I love it right now. And so my current goal is to just keep winning fights when I take them and get better every day. Um, I'd like to I'd like to fight pro someday. I think is my goal right now. What's your ideal way to finish a fight? Um, ground and pound. It's the way I have finished a fight. Um, you know, I like submissions too. There's like, there's no more dominant way to win a fight than like strangling somebody. So that'd be pretty great. What's your favorite submission? Arm triangle. Basic bitch. I, it's basic, but it's the one I'm the best at right now, I think. Yeah. And I find it in a lot of positions, so. For sure. I could say something stupid like the go go plata. Go, go, plata. <laughs> <laughs> What's your main motivation for fighting? Like, why do you fight? Is it too basic of an answer to say because it's really fun? No. Like, I, I find it fun. I think the training's fun most days. Uh, the competition aspect I like. Uh, there's also, like the, like, the entertainer aspect of it, like winning the fight and popping up, like, after the ref pulls me off and then celebrating with the crowd and, and all my friends and people that came to watch. Like, that's my favorite moment, like, the feeling of victory. And that's what I'm chasing. Tell us a little bit about your upcoming fight. Fight Saturday, April 13th at Ignite Fights in Marshalltown, Iowa. My training's been good. Um, I feel good. I feel confident going into it. I know there's, there's areas where I know I'm better than him, and I'm going to expose that. So, what's, what's been <laughs> different about your preparation for this fight versus your first fight? It's been different. Um, I think now, for this fight, I've been more specific, technique-focused. For my first fight, it was a lot of, like, getting in shape for my first fight. Based off of your experience from fighting once before, yep. how's your mentality now going into your second fight versus what it was going into your first fight with those unknowns? I feel much more confident. Um, I think... And, you know, in my first fight, I felt confident, but there was still so much unknown of, like, it's my first time in a cage at all. And uh, there's that big adrenaline dump and nerves. Now, obviously, there's still nerves anytime you're going to get into a fight, but right now I feel much more confident in, like, being in the cage, knowing what to expect as far as how the crowd feels. Um, all of it, I, just, I feel much more confident in my ability to stay calm and focused. This fight, you're going down a light heavyweight. Yeah. How do you feel about that versus your first fight at heavyweight? Um, I feel good. I have to eat less, which isn't my favorite thing to do, but I've been getting a lot of compliments about how I'm getting skinnier. So I like that. I feel light. I, f I still feel strong. One thing I was like kind of concerned about when I started losing weight was that I wasn't going to feel as strong, um, and I still feel really good. So I'm excited. How can people watch your fight? Uh, you can watch it in person. There's still tickets for sale at the door. Or you can get on Spectation Sports and stream it. Good job. Is there anybody you want to shout out and or thank on your way out? Uh, thank my coaches, my team. Obviously, without them, I wouldn't be able to, to fight. And I'm not going to name off all my friends. Thank you, your so. roommates, for being dummies. <laughs> my roommates, my friends, my coworkers. All of them. The people who I'm going to thank know who they are, so, yeah.